Today I will be talking about bending the knees in the proper direction using an inverse kinematics rig, IK, that is in Moho using a target bone. And because it's the target bone, this is a pro only feature. So if you're on debut, this is a good reason for you to consider getting pro. And for those of you who have forgotten how this works, in frame zero, I'll just grab this. See how the feet are staying in place? That is because of this bone and this bone. These are the target bones. They are holding those ankles in place when the rest of the body moves. So also that. See, the feet don't lift off the ground. And you can also animate by animating by moving around those target bones. In frame zero, those knees are going to pop in both directions. This doesn't happen out in the timeline. I'm never sure why this happens. But in, when you're actually animating, they're only going to bend in one direction. And the reason they're only going to bend in one direction here is because I have hinted them to bend towards the right, and you can see there is an angle at the knee. It doesn't have to be this much, but this is a nice clear one. That means that when I use an IK in the main timeline, that knee is always going to bend in that direction. Trust me on that. So let's go out. I've already done this. What I want her to do is I want her to bend in that direction, stand up, and then lower down but have her knee bend in the other direction. And so you may be wondering how did he do that? Let me remove all of the animation that I've done in advance. Clear animation from layer. There we go. Yes, I want to remove it all and walk you through that. So the first thing I did, of course, was I just came out to frame 24. It's enough time to, for you to get a nice clear view. I'm going to get my transform bone tool and I'm just going to bend her down with it. That's my core tool. It, all the other bones are parented to it so I can just, uh, when I move that, everything moves with it. So there is her crouch down and I've actually got these little pin bones. I've actually got these little pin bones on her knees, on her skirt so that I can edit that skirt to travel with her. There we go. And then I'll come back up. I'll just grab this target bone, this uh, base bone again. Not target bone, base bone. And I'm also going to go ahead and this is a bonus thing that I do for you. Get those pen bones that I adjusted, go to the transform bone tool and reset their positions back to original. Ta-da. And now I want her to bend down one more time, but I want that knee on the left going the other direction. I want it going off to the left, not towards the right like it is right now. So, let me come out here. And again, oops, wrong. There we go, select this, bend her down. It's not going in the right direction. So, let's talk about how to flip that knee. First, I'll show you here. And I actually would rather flip the knee when the legs are straight so you don't see it happen. Because if that leg flips from one direction to the other when it's crouched like this, it's going to look really bad. And I'll show you why. But let's get the select bone tool and select that shin bone, the lower leg bone. This is the one that matters. And then I'll go back to the transform bone tool. I used the select bone tool because I didn't set any keys by clicking on the bone. I just selected it. I'll get the transform bone tool. I'll come over close to this bone. It's nice to see that those two red dots have lit up because that means this uh, tool is right now controlling that bone. I won't accidentally deselect. I'm going to click and hold. I will not let go of my left mouse button key. Click and hold and I will drag across the bone. And there's the flip. 
and the reason it doesn't say that looks awful but this is what we want to happen so I'll talk in a minute about how to properly time that flip but that's the flip so what I did again that bone's still selected if I click and hold and drag in the opposite direction I want the knee to go across the bone it will flip so I'll drag to the left that knee goes to the right I'll drag to the right that knee goes to the left that is the basic part of it and while I'm at it let me adjust her skirt <laughs> But see, that would be terrible animation. So what I'm going to do, select that bone, and I'm going to delete that key. And where I want it to flip is where the leg is straight and you won't see it. So on frame 48, there the leg is mostly straight. So let me go ahead and adjust her a bit so that leg is straight. Get my select bone tool, click that uh, shen bone again, get close enough that I can see those two red dots, click and hold, and drag to the right because I want that knee going to the left. Let's test. And see, it worked. All you need to do is test. And that is how you get a knee with an IK rig going in the direction you want it to go. Let me share with you now what can go wrong when you're doing this and how to easily fix it. I've made an adjustment and you'll notice there is no key. Let me select to make sure you can see that my shin bone is selected and that there's a key on zero and the next key is on 48. And that's where I flipped. So let me go forward and boom, did you see that leg flip even with no key? That's because this flip is determined by the angle of the bone. And if you uh, can see that up in the control panel and watch as you do it yourself, you can see that angle is uh, changing between frame zero and frame 48. And when it hits about, where is that? Where's that flip? Right there. When it hits about 440 degrees, which is not a real degree, I don't know why Mohu does this, it flips. And so I need to hold that bone until right before I flip. So I go out where I flipped it. I can come back one frame and I can come up into the control panel up here with the transform bone tool selected and I can reset the angle and that will now hold the angle between frame 0 and 47 and then on 48 it flips and it still works so that's why sometimes your knee will come down early there's another couple of ways to fix this let me just show you one other I'm gonna undo that there's my bad flip. The other thing I can do is that I can set all my knee keyframes to interpolation step. And step says don't make any change until you hit the next keyframe. So same thing. So if you'd prefer to do the step interpolation, that's one way of doing it. Or if you'd prefer to just make sure that the knee is still pointing in the right direction on the keyframe before the flip, just set a key there and move on. And there you go. You get the full uh, animation and it's pretty easy to do with just a bit of concentration and animation is concentration. So I wish you luck and I hope you share what you do with this and thank you very much.